It's your boy JP, Mr. Major Man, Mr. Five or Four Jeezy from the Big Easy, here to welcome y'all to a very somber edition of the showroom. Well, I'm just gonna say this. Let me let me for uh, disclaimer purposes. I love my family. I really do love my family. I have the most wonderful, diverse, unique, huh, peculiar type of family that you could possibly have in the world. And everybody's family dynamic is different. And I know y'all probably wondering to yourself, why is this guy talking about his family? Preferably extended family. So, I'ma just, uh, well, let me just say this. Hit that like button, hit that share button. Subscribe if you're not already. Welcome to all my day ones. And my new subscribers, welcome to the channel as well. If you don't know about me, you can follow me on all my social media platforms, which will be linked in the description below. I'm trying to process this because I'm still like, this is still kind of real time. So, I get a call from my cousin. And they basically tell me, hey, Bubs. I'm like, what's up? So, um, these cream looking uh, Jordans, how can I get them? Me, I reply, oh, those, uh, I already know what they're talking about. They talk about the Jordan 4s, the off white. I say, you gotta wait to get them Saturday. No harm, no harm in uh, disclosing that information there. I haven't been really posting it on my social media like that, but giving that little nugget of information. And so they reply back to me on the phone and they say, oh, well, what does this exclusive access mean? Cause it says offer expired. I seen it the other day. I didn't think I really wanted it until I started seeing more pictures of it. Immediately in my head, I'm like, excuse me, what? The offer says expired. So I'm saying, send me a screenshot of what you see. And lo and behold it says offer expired off-white women's off-white air jordan 4 and immediately in my head i'm saying to myself why <laughs> why 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 and also this is going back to another another complicated thing Nike, why do y'all send out these exclusive access to people who probably do not buy off of your platform, especially the Sneakers app? Now, I know they don't buy off the Sneakers app because nine times out of 10, they usually call me to go get shoes for them because they don't like dealing with the online thing. I just told them download the app so they can have a better chance of securing pairs in the event that I can't get them or in the event that they get it and I don't have to go get them. So I'm still trying to process why do these brands do this? Now, granted, it's not her fault, but I understand Nike was giving it out to women's, uh, women's uh, sneakerheads or women customers or women people with the women profile on their sneakers app, I understand that, I got that. But my whole premise of that is why do y'all go to these accounts that never really get used? Like that makes no sense. Why? Why do y'all persist on doing this? Like that, I would have gave her $400 my damn self to buy that shoe. Like, <laughs> Oh my God.
and me being the person that I am, if it happened with one person, I'm quite sure it happened with thousands. I'm quite this. I'm quite sure that there are probably a thousand accounts that got hit with this with people that either didn't have the money to buy that day, didn't know what the hell they were buying that day, ignored the access completely, <laughs> like, or they're go complete ghost accounts. Like, it makes no sense to me, bro. It makes no sense to me. And here I am. Uh, matter of fact, take me out the equation. Here you have a slew of women, customers, whatever the case may be, that are consistently interacting with the app, doing these polls, doing these things, liking pictures, doing all this, doing all that, sharing the pictures, sharing the posts. Like, and they get nothing. No perks, no nothing. And I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm coming off as an entitled brat or whatever the case may be, but yes, I do feel entitled. I do feel like there's a sense of, uh, 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 you know what? I should be elitist attitude. I should have this type of perk when it comes to buying this product because guess what? Why? Why not? I feel the same way about the Flex app, which is a whole nother different, a whole nother different uh, video that I'm gonna have to make about that because yes, the Flex app is trash. It's been trash ever since they implemented it because there's no such, no way that a person like me who's in a tier three, a tier three, tier three, should not be getting the shoes that I put in for. Like, it makes no sense. When it was the old Flex app, when it was the old Falag app, I was able to hit every single goddamn release. Now, I'd be lucky if I could hit online. And yes, the Elitist Complex, come, like, we all have it. I mean, I got it because I feel like I'm a tier. If I'm at a certain level of spending, I've spent over 10 racks at Foot Locker, Champs, and Finish Line. Uh, That's not even collectively. <laughs> like, I've spent that amount of money at these stores. That's not including any of the other stores. That's not including Nike itself. I've spent this amount of money at these stores. And even the people who have military discounts, even the people who work at these shoe stores, yes, there's a leader's attitude with that because if you work at a shoe store, you should feel entitled to get these shoes. And they don't even like paying full price on most of these shoes. So I get it. I get. I 100% get it. But it's... It, I'm circling back to the original point. We, like, y'all are giving these quote unquote uh, chances to people who don't even give a shit about the product. Who don't care nothing about it. Like, that's my whole thing. And that's why my, it's boggling my mind because I'm like, y'all literally gave it to somebody who never buys off the, off the account. Never. Doesn't like doesn't share, doesn't interact with it, nothing. It is it is as good as a dead account. In my account, I've had this same Nike account since 2008. 2008. Before Kobe's 4th, 5th and 4th, I mean, 4th uh, and 5th ring. That's how long I've had this Nike account. Before the first Yeezy drop. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. I'm sitting here in disbelief because I'm like, you know, this is, I felt like this was so close to me that I could have got this. So close. And like, I'm, 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 I'm literally shaking because I'm, 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 I'm hype. I'm hype in like, I'm excited in an angry way, in a disbelief way. Because, like, what are the chances? What are the chances, bro? And yes, I am. I, this is a rant, but this is probably the only way I. This is a way for me to cope and get over it because I really do have to express it. I really gotta let this, let this go out on wax right now because, like, 
this is unbelievable, bro. Nike, y'all really need to do better. Y'all really need to do better by the customers, the loyal customers, the ones who buy from you frequently. Because, yes, even though I am a reseller, I have resold in the past and I continue to do that to this day. I still have a heart for those people. Those people. The people who legit want to rock their sneakers. I have a heart for those people. Because... Even if the kids I wanted to sell this shoe myself, it should have went to me, anybody else, anybody else account. Like I wanted to go to the accounts that literally spend the money with you. Literally buys the product. Not for people who don't care or uh, like don't use the app or don't like I don't like like the once a year spenders. <laughs> That's what I call them, once a year spenders. Cause they only usually come out when the air Jordan level comes out. But um, I'm not gonna hold y'all too long because I gotta go do a vlog. I gotta go make a store run. So hopefully that cheers me up some way, shape, way, or form. But uh, as always, I deeply appreciate y'all. And as always, stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. Follow me on all my social media platforms. And I am JC Baby, and y'all in the showroom. I'm out. You dig?